afternoon. Uh, I'm very pleased to be here today representing uh, Nova Medical School. And I will present you uh, part of the work that we have done uh, at uh, Nova Medical School on mental health and sustainable development. Uh, we, we know that uh, mental health has an important role on uh, economic and uh, generally in sustainable development. And the fact is that uh, you can see mental health uh, uh, seen as relevant for most of the, the sustainable development goals. Uh, although it is only explicitly uh, mentioned in the, the goal three uh, that states that uh, it's expected that uh, uh, premature mortality from non-communicable diseases uh, will be prevented through prevention and treatment and promotion of mental health and, and well-being. Why uh, is so important mental health for sustainable development? First, because mental health is key to general health and well-being. Mental illness, we know now, is a leading cause of the global burden of disease. Uh, for instance, mental, uh, mental health is responsible for uh, disability, uh, years lived with disability on 32% uh, of all cases, more than any other health condition, especially depression is uh, uh, has a huge effect in terms of uh, disability and or indirectly on the burden of disease. Also because of the high comorbidity between mental and physical disorders, mental health is uh, closely associated to uh, uh, physical health problems and uh, higher rates of uh, premature mortality. So, in the end, mental health is uh, associated to global prosperity uh, for different reasons. First, because there is a, a cyclical relationship between poverty and mental illness. Uh, on one hand, uh, uh, income, uh, nutrition, uh, housing, uh, many social and economic factors are a risk factor for mental disorders. But as we have uh, seen in a study made at the global level uh, some years ago, the people who have uh, mental disorders in the beginning of life, they will have later on much lesser level, much lower level of educational attainment, lower level of income, lower level of most of the, the, the good things uh, of life. So uh, the role that uh, mental illness uh, uh, plays in, uh, in uh, the, the, the fight against uh, poverty is, is very important. Also, we know now that the cost uh, of, uh, for global economy is huge. Uh, one reason is because the days out of work. Mental disorders are one of the first causes of people not being able to work. Uh, and this represents billions of day, day, uh, working days. Uh, and this has a, a, an expression in terms of uh, economic uh, uh, results that it's uh, huge. Uh, so uh, it's also important to, to, to know that uh, between 2011 and 2030, mental illness will cost to the global economy uh, more than cancer, diabetes, and respiratory diseases combined. Uh, usually, people don't, uh, are, are not aware of uh, all the, the, the costs of, of mental disorders. Uh, but are even less aware of the, the equally huge importance of the positive mental health. Positive mental health uh, means that uh, uh, people, not only when they don't have a mental disorders, but also when they have a good mental health, this has a very important influence on the way society works. For instance, 
If now in, in uh, this uh, pandemic uh, in Portugal and in other countries, we will see uh, many problems of mental health, we'll have many, many difficulties in having collaboration of the citizens uh, to, to take the measures to fight the pandemic. We'll have a, a, a decrease of social capital. So mental health is important only not because of the burden of mental diseases, but also of what means not having the positive mental health. The good thing is that now we have evidence showing that uh, we have effective solutions for mental disorders. Uh, we know what to do and we know that in many cases uh, we have uh, treatments and programs that are highly effective, both in low and uh, high income countries. We know that uh, promotion and prevention that is so important also, we have increasingly effective programs. Uh, and uh, we are now in a position that we can see that important commitments were made both at the national and the global level. For instance, uh, in 2013, uh, global, uh, a global uh, mental health action plan was approved by all the countries in the WHO with five main objectives strengthen effective leadership and governance, provide integrated and comprehensive mental disorders at the community level, implement strategies for promotion and prevention, and strengthen research and information systems. Now, what our team, our group at the Nova Medical School has done in the last 15 years is trying to contribute to achieve these five uh, five, uh, 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 four objectives. In fact, we were involved in the definition of these objectives because for many years we are collaborating and working very closely with WHO. But also uh, we uh, made a, an important contribution for the alignment of the, the, the European Framework for Action on Mental Health and Wellbeing that was approved in uh, the European Union uh, in 2016 that is completely aligned with uh, the objectives of the WHO and this joint action was led by us so we had the opportunity to give a good contribution for it. Now, on research, our main focus is on, in, on epidemiology of mental disorders. And in this field, we were responsible for the first psychiatric uh, epidemiological study in Portugal, uh, a study that is part of a world uh, surveys initiative that made possible that with the same methodology, we could make similar studies in 34 uh, countries. The results of this study is Amazing, because now we know much more than we knew uh, 10 or 20 years ago about how prevalent are the, the main uh, mental uh, illnesses, which are the factors that are associated with them, which is the impact of these disorders in terms of uh, inequalities, disability, and so on. And we also got a lot of results on how these people are treated or not treated. So we could assess the treatment gap in all parts of the world. We also developed the MH crisis impact. It was a, a study to assess the impact of the economic crisis in 2012, 2015, that showed us that uh, the, the economic crisis result in a, a significant increase of uh, mental illnesses and a lot of other data that I, I believe it will be important now to design the measures that will be necessary to deal with the economic crisis that we are living because of the, the pandemic. Uh, we have also a lot of studies on uh, mental health services, especially quality of mental health services. These uh, demo being and prom qual studies are uh, European studies that made possible to assess the quality 
and the differences of quality of services between the different European countries and understand what explains these differences. Finally, we are also uh, interested in mental health and human rights. We are now carrying out a study funded by the EA grants um, and mental health policy. Uh, we were also leading the EU compass on mental health that made possible to study how the different EU countries are implementing their mental health policies. And that made possible to understand which were the main progresses made, which were the main failures, and which are the main reasons that explain the failures that uh, could be seen in the last decade in, in uh, the EU. We have also work on capacity building. I will just mention what is our first or main work here is a master in, uh, uh, on mental health policy and services that made possible for us to train more than 200 people for more than 50 countries. And we are very proud because several former students of these courses are now leaders in their countries or are leaders at the WHO and other international organizations. Uh, and as you can see there, we have also, uh, for instance, we are part of a PhD course on global public health and we are very happy because we are going to receive now in a two weeks four students that got grants to, to stay with us for four years to, to work in, in a global, make their thesis on global mental health. Uh, international cooperation, we work a lot with the WHO, either being part of missions, they ask us to go to countries, uh, or being part of WHO projects also with the European Union, UNRWA is uh, the United Nations Agency for the Refugees in Palestine. And we have a lot of work to direct work in countries. What does this mean? Is that we go, people of our team, go to, to spend some time in countries, like you can see uh, some of them, uh, to help them to develop and implement a mental health policy and a mental health plan. Uh, and finally, in terms of advocacy, I would like to mention that thanks to the collaboration with the Gulbenkian Foundation, uh, from 2010 to 2016, uh, we could organize a lot of initiatives that um, really put this uh, global mental health uh, platform in the uh, high rank uh, among the, the big world uh, mental health, global mental health initiatives. Hundreds of people came to Portugal. There were many meetings. There were many uh, studies. Uh, so this really gave uh, excellent contribution for the movement uh, the, of global mental health. When this, uh, this platform ended in 2016, uh, Gulbenkian helped us to create the Lisbon Institute of Global Mental Health where our uh, group is working now uh, in collaboration with the Nova Medical School and the School of Public Health and of course not with so many resources when, that when we had the, when uh, we had the direct support of Gulbenkian but still we are uh, doing uh, work some on the research level and uh, we continue with the capacity building and even with these uh, difficulties nowadays because traveling is becoming more and more difficult. This last six months we should have been working in Lebanon, uh, in Jamaica, in Ukraine and we could not go there. So this is something we are waiting for better times but uh, this uh, with this, uh, I hope we could give you uh, an idea about what uh, we have been done uh, in uh, trying to contribute to sustainable development uh, through uh, improvement of mental health in, in countries, especially in low-income countries. Thank you. <laughs>